Welcome to Change Your Mind Meditation. I want you to find a comfortable place to sit or lay down. And if you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release all tension from your body. Take another deep breath in. With this exhale, let your mind go quiet. Let your body fully relax. Take a final deep breath in. And as you exhale, release any stress or tension from your mind and your body. And today, I'm going to take you through a Balinese massage to let you fully relax. So I want you to picture that you're in an open air pavilion. There's a wall around the garden so you have your privacy. But the air is warm and humid. And in the background you can hear some gamelan music some traditional Balinese music from far off being played. And you're relaxed and calm. I'm going to give you a traditional Balinese massage today. Balinese massage consists of a combination of different techniques from various cultures that the Balinese people adopted and used to create their own unique style. From 600 to 800 AD, Hinduism and Buddhism were brought to what is now called Indonesia. And this Hindu influence from India brought over Ayurvedic healing techniques for massage. Oils and herbs were introduced and from China came Buddhism and acupressure techniques. In Bali, massage is traditionally used for healing but as the island grew in tourism, they began to have more relaxing massages as the traditional healing massage was often rather painful. So now they have a combination of this Ayurvedic massage an acupressure massage and a bit of Swedish massage so that it's not quite so harsh. And the Balinese call this champur champur, which is sort of um, a mix of, of different things. Um, and that is the current Balinese massage that we will be doing today. So I see you're comfortable on the table and what I'm going to do is just keep your back covered for a moment and I'm going to stretch the back pushing on the blanket from your hip to your shoulders just stretching out your back and then using my palms down your legs, from your thighs down your calves to your feet, 
I'm going to press my thumbs into your feet in five lines from the toes down to the heel using one thumb on each foot and now I'm going to grasp the skin at the bottom of your legs pulling the blanket up to your hips to just the base of your thigh not all the way up to your hips and grabbing a bit of the skin I'm going to roll the skin all the way up to the top of your thigh and by rolling it means I grasp a little bit of the skin with my thumbs and then finger walk uh, my first and second fingers sort of pinching a bit of the skin and rolling it up the leg there are some areas where you can't grasp enough skin so I'll just press my thumb along those areas but for the most part you can grab the skin that allows us to pull the fascia away from the muscles and just loosen up the skin and the muscles let me do your other leg now I'm going to use my thumbs and down the center line of your legs I'm going to just thumb walk alternating one thumb after the other up from your ankles to the top of your thighs is the pressure okay yes in traditional massage it would be much harder but I don't want you to be sore or bruised so you just let me know what pressure is comfortable for you let me do your other leg how does that feel okay and now I'm gonna squeeze your leg up and down almost like I was a cat kneading on your legs alternating hands and then the other leg and now pressing my palms up and down your back over the blanket just warming up your back pressing my palms on either side of your spine now I'm going to uncover your back And walk my thumbs next to the spine from the base of the neck all the way down to the top of your hips staying on either side of the spine never actually pressing on the spine but you have spinal muscles that run all up and down your spine a few centimeters from the actual bone and that's what I'm going to be pressing on all the way down to your hips and now rolling the skin again using my thumb and my fingers to pinch a little bit of skin and then rolling pushing with my thumbs and walking my fingers so that that little piece of skin can 
let's slide a little bit of the skin all the way down from your shoulders to the top of your hips. Does that feel okay? Now my husband loves skin rolling. And it really just depends on your skin. Some people you can't grasp their skin. They, the fascia underneath the skin is kind of what we call sticky. So it doesn't release from the muscles underneath easily. Um, I know with my husband I can easily pick up the skin. He doesn't have sticky fascia. Um, but it's still good, even if you can't pick up much of the skin, it helps to make that fascia um, slide a little bit more smoothly. So it's a good practice to do, but I don't want to pinch you either. Your skin seems to be good for rolling. Okay. Now I'm going to cover your back. and just warm up your whole body pressing on your legs and I'm gonna start with your left leg applying oil and I have some nice frangipani oil here it smells really wonderful and flowery and I'm just going to use long strokes, zigzagging up and down your leg. And then squeezing the muscles. And sliding my hand down. Pumping with the base of my hand on the muscles all the way down your thigh. And your calf. And I'm going to slide my thumb up the center of the leg. This is really important to do in the calf because there are two large muscles that actually you can slide your thumb in between and separate them in your calf, the back of your calf. And now I'm going to do another long stroke from your heel up to the top of your thigh. And then I'm going to do what I call crabbing, uh, which is kind of using all five fingers to kind of pinch the skin a little bit, just quickly, just kind of grabbing the skin and pulling it up. That is one thing about Balinese massage. It isn't all long strokes and soothing. Some of it is kind of fast but it is a really good technique to help um, relax the muscles. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to alternate my thumbs all the way up your leg, from your heel, up your calf, and up your thigh, and then slide my hand back down. Then I'm going to apply some oil to the foot, not too much and I want you to be careful when you get up because you will have a little bit of oil on your feet. And let me bend your f leg at the knee and I'm going to rotate your ankle around just comfortably clockwise and then counterclockwise. I'm going to press my thumbs around the sides and top of the ankle and then sliding my hands down your calf. Then I'm going to take my fist and lightly pound the bottom of your foot. And lower your leg down to the mat. And then go all the way up your leg again. And again I'm going to crab the muscles a little bit. Just pinching them. And then I'm going to use a loose hand. So the fingers aren't all together, they're a bit spread, but I'm going to 
lightly karate chop down your leg. Now I'm going to slide my thumbs down the sole of your foot and then slide my knuckles down the sole of your foot. And then I'm going to cover your leg back up. And stretch your leg between the heel and the top of the thigh. Just stretching those muscles, pushing with my hands. One near your heel, one at the top of your thigh. And then again, with your other leg. Applying oil with long strokes. Zigzagging down from the top of your thigh, and then a long stroke up, and now I'm going to squeeze the muscles and slide my hand down with a pumping action, using the base of my hand, the heel of my hand to just push into the muscle like I was pumping it. Going down, not using any pressure in the back of the knee, just avoiding that area. And then I'm going to slide my thumbs up the center of the leg. And do long strokes up and down the legs, just warming the muscles, and then doing some crab movements up and down the legs, just warming up those muscles some more, and then using alternating thumbs in half circles up your leg. that feel good? Okay, and then I'm going to slide my hands back down to your ankle and apply a little bit of lotion to your foot. Then bend your knee and rotate the ankle clockwise and counterclockwise and pressing my thumbs around the side and top of the ankle. Now I'm going to slide my hands down the calf and again using a loose fist I'm going to lightly pound the bottom of the foot and then place your leg back down on the mat going to use long strokes of the entire leg, just relaxing those muscles, and then crabbing the muscles again. And again using a loose hand, karate chopping the leg. It doesn't hurt, but again it is an invigorating massage, not just relaxing. And then sliding my thumbs down the sole of your foot, and then using my knuckles down the sole of your foot, and placing the blanket back over your leg using one hand towards your ankle and one hand up towards your uh, the top of your thigh. I'm just going to press in either direction, stretching your leg. Now I'm going to move to your back and uncover your back. And I'm going to apply a lot of lotion with a zigzagging motion down 
and then a long stroke back up. Do that a few more times to completely cover your back with lotion. Now I'm going to slide my thumbs on either side of your spine. Again, where I was using thumb pressure before, just pressure points, now I'm sliding it down. And then I'm going to use my thumb in small circles, the top of your hips and your lower back. And then just using long strokes all up and down your back to warm up the muscles. Now I'm going to slide my thumbs over your left shoulder and then down your arm to your elbow. Then I'm going to do some more skin rolling from the top of your shoulders all the way down. It's a little bit harder to do when you have lotion on because uh, the skin's so much slipperier. So much slipperier, so much more slippery. <laughs> See, I'm getting so relaxed myself, I can't talk. All right. Does that feel good? All right, now I'm going to use my thumb around your shoulder blade, slightly sliding my thumb underneath the bottom of your shoulder blade to get at the muscles underneath your scapula. And then I'm going to use my thumb over your upper shoulder. Towards your neck. And then slide my knuckles from your shoulder up to your neck. Not using a lot of pressure on your neck, but just repeating that movement with my knuckles to allow the shoulders to relax. Now I'm going to circle my thumbs over the left side of your neck and slide my thumbs up your neck. And again, using my hands on either side of your spine, just sliding down to the top of your hips and then sliding back up a few times. Now I'm going to slide my thumb over your right shoulder and down the arm to the elbow. Just relaxing that shoulder. And on the right side, rolling the skin on the side of the spine. Down to the hips. And then using my thumb all around your shoulder blade, going under the scapula a bit. Does that feel uncomfortable? Some people don't like going under the scapula. When I was in massage school, my teacher really believed in rotator cuff work, and she would place my hand on my low back and really dig under my scapula and for some reason it just grosses me out and I can't <laughs> I don't like people doing work under my scapula and I think we all have those little pet peeves with massage so please if anything feels uncomfortable let me know I have a friend who doesn't want me to go anywhere near her kneecaps um, because again, that just, for some reason, freaks her out. So I will not be offended by any of your own little massage pet peeves. We all have them. <laughs> now I'm going to slide my thumbs up over your shoulder and towards the neck. And then using my knuckles again from your shoulder joint up to your neck on the right-hand side circling my thumbs 
over the left side of the neck and then sliding my thumbs up the neck and again using my hands on either side of your spine and just sliding down and then sliding my hands back up from the top of your hips now standing above your head I'm going to just slide my hands along the neck on either side and then I'm going to use my knuckles on either side of your neck just gently not using a lot of pressure on your neck now I'm going to circle my fingers to the back of your head just really getting a little bit of a scalp massage on the back of your head we'll give you a brush for your hair when we're all done now again just sliding my hands down either side of your back and back up now moving to the left hand side I'm just going to alternate hands and slide them all the way from one side of your back to the other side just back and forth using gentle friction moving slightly down with each movement as I move to the top of your hips and then going back up a little bit faster now okay and again using loose hands I'm going to karate chop all up and down your back not karate chopping around the low back because we want to avoid the kidneys mm -hmm. and now covering your back up I'm going to press my palms all up and down your back just using some extra pressure to release all of the muscles okay, and I'm going to have you flip over slide down so your head's on the table not on the cradle okay are you comfortable are you feeling good relaxed but invigorated right okay so now I'm going to start on your right leg and I'm going to press all over the front of the entire leg moving from your hip down, no pressure on your knee of course and light pressure on your calf because right at the front is a large bone not a muscle so pushing to the sides of that bone and now I'm going to squeeze your leg like a cat going from your ankle up the top of your thigh now I'm going to apply some oil to the front of your leg, removing the blanket, of course. And I'm just going to use long strokes from your ankle to the top of your thigh. Now I'm going to circle my fingers around the sides of the ankles. And I'm going to circle around your knee, not actually touching the kneecap. Well, does that bother you at all? No. Okay, most people it doesn't. <laughs> now I'm going to squeeze the muscles of the thigh using alternate hands. And then I'm going to wring my hands, so alternating hands as if I was giving you an arm burn, but because it's your thigh and it's such a big muscle, it actually doesn't hurt at all. And just kind of wringing that muscle on either side. I'm not trying to pinch the skin at all. Does that feel okay? 
Now I'm going to have you bend your knee. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to slide my hands downward on the calf on either side of that large bone. Getting the muscle. And then let me lower your leg again. And I'm just going to do long strokes from your ankle to the top of your thigh. And then I'm going to slide my thumb between the bones on the top of the foot. And then squeeze and pull each toe. Sort of wringing my fing fingers back and forth on the toe and pulling a little bit. And then sliding my thumbs over the sole of the foot. And then rotating the ankle either direction, both directions. Then I'm going to push your toes back. Push your whole foot back, the ball of your foot as if I was pushing it towards your head. And then I'm going to point your toes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to cover your leg back up and just cat squeeze over the leg. And then I'm going to grab your leg underneath the heel of your foot and the top of your foot and just gently pull. Use a little bit of traction to release all the muscles. Now I'm going to move to your left leg and I'm going to press over the front of your entire leg. And now palm squeeze the leg like a, like a cat alternating hands. Avoiding the knee. And then I'm going to move the blanket off of your left leg and apply some motion, long strokes from your ankle up to the top of your thigh. Now I'm going to circle my fingers around your ankles. And then circle the knee all around, doing little circles all around the kneecap. And now I'm going to squeeze the muscle of the thigh, grasping with my hands, my thumbs, and my fingers. And now I'm going to wring my hands back and forth. And lift your leg up a little bit. And slide my hand downward on your calf. And then lowering your leg again and doing long strokes all the way from your ankle to the top of your thigh. And then sliding my thumb between the bones on your left foot, the top of your left foot. And squeezing and pulling the toes. And then sliding my thumbs over the sole of the foot and rotating the ankle. Look okay, here, ankle cracked a little bit there. Both directions. And then pushing your foot back towards your head and then pointing your toes. Now I'm going to cover your leg again and cat squeeze all over the leg. And then grabbing under your heel on the top of your foot and slightly pulling. Get some traction from that foot. Now would you like me to do a stomach massage? It is common, but some people are uncomfortable with it. Do you want to try it?
and if it makes you uncomfortable, I'll stop. Okay. So I'm going to have you hold the towel over your chest. Often in Balinese massage, you would not be kept covered in your chest, but um, we will for for now, just to make sure, because you're new to this, make sure you're comfortable. So hold this towel. I'm going to pull the blanket down to get to your stomach. And I'm going to apply oil to the stomach. And I'm going to slide my hands around in a clockwise direction on your stomach. You always want to go clockwise because you always want to go the direction that your intestines go. You don't want to cause any problems with that with anyone. Now I'm going to slide my hands up from the waist towards the stomach. So going from your waist in. And now I'm going to slide my thumbs down under the ribs, under the rib cage, just gently following the rib cage, but not pressing on the rib, just underneath. And then sliding my hands down over the ribs and up at the waist. And that's all for the stomach. I'm going to cover you back up. And I'm going to apply oil to your left arm. And I'm going to hold your hand up while stroking the arm in a downward direction. So going from your wrist down your forearm. Now I'm going to squeeze your hand and slide my thumb up into the muscle of the upper arm and then up the forearm, just sliding my thumbs from the wrist up to the elbow. Now I'm going to do this in the back of your arm as well, sliding my thumbs. And on the back of your forearm, long strokes from the wrist up to the elbow. Now I'm going to squeeze your arm up and down with my right hand. And now with my left hand, just squeezing the muscles all the way from your shoulder down to your wrist. I'm going to lower your arm and circle my thumb over the inside of your wrist and then press my thumb into the palm of your hand. Circling the thumb over the palm. And then I'm going to hold your wrist and rotate your hand clockwise and then counterclockwise and then push your hand back and then push your hand forward just gently just to release that joint. Now I'm going to squeeze each finger and pull Isn't it amazing how good that feels? Your hands do so much work during the day. And now I'm going to squeeze the web of the hand on the top of the hand in between the bones. And then again I'm going to squeeze your arm up and down and then slide back down to your hand. And now I'm going to move to your left arm, sorry, your right arm. Okay, just going to apply oil to your right arm. Sorry, I still have to hold my hands out in front of me 
to see which hand makes an L to know my left and right. And I'm going to stroke your arm in a downward direction. And then squeeze your hand. And then sliding my thumbs into your upper arm. Sliding from the elbow up to the shoulder. And then sliding from your wrist up to your elbow. And now the back of your arm. Again, sliding my thumb from the elbow to the shoulder. And then from the wrist up to the elbow, sliding my thumbs in a long stroke. Now I'm going to squeeze the arm up and down with my right hand. And then again with my left hand. And then I'm going to circle my thumb over your inner wrist and then press my thumbs in circles over the palm of your hand. It's releasing all the muscles in your hand. And now, stretching your hand back and forward. and squeezing each finger and pulling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love hand massage. I get manicures often and don't even have them paint my hand. I just want the massage, <laughs> paint my nails. So now I'm going to squeeze the web of the hand on the back of your hand between the bones, and then again squeezing your arm up and down from your wrist up to your shoulders, and then sliding my hand all the way back down and squeezing your hand. Now I'm going to sit down behind you. And I'm going to apply oil to your upper chest, sliding from your neck across your chest, over your shoulders, and then back up to the back of your neck. And now I'm going to slide my thumbs over the top of your shoulders. And then use my thumbs to do pressure points, three pressure points from your neck out towards your shoulders. Not on the bones, on that mus, the part that you instinctively go to massage when your neck and your shoulders are tight. Just moving half an inch and holding in with my thumbs. Now I'm going to turn your head to the left and stroke down the side of the neck. stretching the neck muscle as I massage. Now turning your head to the right and again stroking down the side of the neck. And then placing your head center again and using my hands to stroke up and down the back of the neck on either side and squeezing the back of the neck with my hand and then sliding my fingers up and holding at the base of the skull at the occipital points right at the base of the skull there's two little indentations where your thumbs and fingers sort of naturally go. And it feels so good 
to just use some extra pressure there. Now I'm going to use some antibacterial gel before face massage. And I'm going to press down on your forehead with both hands. And slide your fingers along the jawbone. Pressing fingers around the mouth and the nose. All the way up to the forehead. Pressing three points across the forehead from the center using both hands and three fingers. Just printing, pressing out from the center out to the temples. And then sliding my index finger up from the nose to the forehead and sliding back down. Sliding back to the sides of the temples and circling my thumbs and your temples. Doesn't that feel wonderful? Now I'm going to press three points again with three fingers down the center of the top of the head. So working from your hairline back to the crown of your head. And then doing finger circles with both hands on your scalp. Pulling strands of hair. Again, we will give you a new brush when we're done. But there's no way for your hair to stay styled with this massage. down on your forehead with both hands and slide my fingers across to the temples and circle the temples. Doing that again, sliding from the center with both hands and circling the temple. And one more time. And then pressing with both my hands down on your forehead. Now I'm going to have you hold the blanket to your chest and hold on to me and I'm going to sit you up. Okay. And I'm going to press my thumbs into the back of your neck. And thumb press around the shoulders. I'm going to squeeze and slide my fingers up along the neck. And then using my thumbs, I'm going to thumb press down the side of your spine on either side. Now I'm going to knead the shoulders. And then slide my hands down the back, just all the way from your shoulders down to your hips. And then again, using loose hands, I'm just going to chop all down your back, just to enliven the muscles again after all that relaxation, so that you're ready for the rest of the day. Stress-free but able to stay awake. <laughs> okay. How do you feel? It's a different kind of massage than a basic Swedish which most of us receive. I'm really glad you tried it today. Well, I'm going to leave you to get dressed. And I'll have some tea waiting for you when you're all done. I'll be waiting out in the relaxation area of the spa. Thanks. See you soon. Now you can drink.
drift off to sleep. Or if you feel comfortable, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you feel ready, open your eyes, remembering the wonderful massage you've had today. Remember, meditation changes your mind.